Al Shabab continues its reign of terror with Mogadishu Hotel attack. Hello and welcome, this is Newsfest Addis, your daily source of news bites locally, regionally, and internationally. The recent assault by Al Shabab militants on the SYL Hotel, situated in close proximity to the presidential palace in Mogadishu, Somalia, has once again thrust the country's fragile security situation into the spotlight. This audacious attack, targeting a symbol of government authority and frequented by officials, underscores the persistent threat posed by extremist groups in the region and the formidable challenges facing Somalia's efforts towards peace and stability. Eyewitnesses described scenes of chaos and panic as explosions rocked the hotel and gunfire reverberated through the streets. Al Shabab militants, armed and determined, seized control of the establishment, setting the stage for a protracted standoff with security forces. The uncertainty surrounding the immediate casualty count only serves to heighten the gravity of the situation and the toll exacted by the group's relentless campaign of violence. Despite concerted efforts to bolster security and curb insurgent activities, Al Shabab's ability to launch such a brazen assault in the heart of Mogadishu underscores the group's resilience and adaptability. With a strong foothold in significant swathes of southern and central Somalia, Al Shabab continues to exploit governance gaps, tribal grievances, and socio-economic disparities to further its extremist agenda. The targeting of hotels, which often serve as hubs of government activity, diplomatic engagements, and economic transactions, has become a trademark strategy for Al Shabab. Previous attacks on similar establishments, such as the Villa Reyes Hotel in 2022 and the Assisi Hotel in 2019, have resulted in significant casualties and sent shockwaves through the international community. The response to Al Shabab's insurgency has been multifaceted, encompassing military offensives, international cooperation, and efforts to address root causes of extremism. Countries like the United States and the United Kingdom have designated Al Shabab as a terrorist organization and have provided military assistance to Somali security forces. However, the group's ability to adapt its tactics, exploit local grievances, and recruit disillusioned youth underscores the complexity of the challenge at hand. President Hassan and Sheikh Mohammed's urgent meeting with defense officials to formulate a response strategy highlights the gravity of the situation and the government's determination to confront the insurgency head-on. However, the efficacy of military solutions alone in addressing the underlying drivers of extremism remains questionable. To achieve lasting peace and stability, Somalia must adopt a holistic approach that combines robust security measures with efforts to address socioeconomic disparities, improve governance, and foster inclusive political processes. International partners play a crucial role in supporting Somalia's capacity-building initiatives, strengthening security institutions, and promoting sustainable development. Moreover, addressing the root causes of extremism requires a concerted effort to empower communities, provide economic opportunities, and promote dialogue and reconciliation. Efforts to counter violent extremism must be grounded in respect for human rights, rule of law, and democratic principles, lest they risk exacerbating grievances and perpetuating cycles of violence. In conclusion, the attack on the SYL Hotel serves as a grim reminder of the challenges facing Somalia as it strives to overcome the scourge of extremism and build a peaceful and prosperous future for its citizens. Only through sustained cooperation, comprehensive strategies, and unwavering commitment can Somalia hope to prevail over the forces of terror and realize its aspirations for a better tomorrow. This was our news analysis for the day. Make sure to join us for more. 